back to my channel or if you are new welcome i'm so happy you clicked on today's video and i hope you will stick around and subscribe in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you five valuable lessons that i learned in college i recently graduated from college this past may and I definitely learned a lot throughout my four years and I thought I would share it with you. So I learned that life is more than just what happens to you and really a lot of it has to do with how you react to it, your reaction to everything that happens to you. No matter what happens throughout life, you are in control of how you react to everything that happens to you. You know, some things may happen that you don't like or you don't think is fair and you might get frustrated. I know, you know, there's many times where I was frustrated, but at the end of the day, you, you are in charge of how you react to it. You are in charge of if you let it negatively impact you, if something you know, happens that you didn't like, and you are in charge of, you know, if you're going to find like the best out of this situation. That was something I learned the hard way throughout college. Now I feel like I can do that better and I can look at the positives more and, and try to look at the best of everything. Because you can only control what you can control. There's some things that you cannot control and you know, things are gonna happen to you that you might not have any control over. And I know looking back at college and specifically, there was a lot of situations where I could have had a better reaction and I could have thought of it in a better way, a more positive way. And I didn't, and that really affected me at the time. So that was something that was so important for me to learn. So, so the next lesson was extremely difficult for me to learn, but I'm glad that I learned it because now I know how to deal with the situation better if it ever comes up in the future. And that is disability awareness is very much so needed. And discrimination of all kinds so a very big problem and a lot needs to be done. I'm specifically going to talk about being discriminated by your disability simply because, you know, I was sadly, unfortunately, discriminated in college because of my disability and that was extremely difficult. I'm not going to go into details, but throughout going through that awful time, I won. You know, so many lessons. I learned ways I can advocate for myself as someone with a disability. And the most important thing I would say I learned was I need to use my voice as someone with a disability to educate others more. Because if I don't do it, and if people with disabilities don't do it, then, you know, nothing is ever going to change. If I don't use my voice, to spread awareness to educate others who might be ignorant towards people with disabilities, then nothing is ever gonna change. And when I went through that time, I won that. And now I feel like I have like a mission, I have a purpose to be like, you know what? I need to use my voice so I can educate others so this won't happen to me again and won't happen to others. Hopefully I can make a change in this world so people with disabilities will not get discriminated in the food as often because it really needs to change. I've been lucky enough, you know, upper core college, I wasn't badly discriminated. Of course, I dealt with ignorant people over the years who weren't educating as much as they probably should have been, but I never was like discriminated as I was in college. And like that goes along with any discrimination. We need to use our voice. Everyone needs to use their voice so we can make a change in this world because no discrimination is okay. Discrimination is probably always going to be something, you know, I have to deal with throughout my life, but it doesn't mean I can't use my voice to try to make a change, um, prevent it from happening as much as it does today. The next lesson is forgiveness can be hard. Trust me, it's going to be very hard, especially when someone hurts you and you just don't understand why they get it. But sometimes forgiving someone is the only thing that separates you from being able to move on, from being able to let what happened go 
and to move on to better things, to focus on better things, to focus on the people who care about you, who were there for you throughout everything. One thing I learned is like, you shouldn't focus so much energy on something that happens in the past. What happened in the past, you can't change. So just let it go. Focus on what you can control. Focus on the present and focus on everything that you have look forward to. Yeah. It was something I want. And, you know, I'm so long to this day because it is hard. It is hard to forgive people sometimes. But you just have to do it to move on to move on to better things because there are better things to look forward to and there are better people to focus your energy on who actually care about you. I learned a lot about forgiveness in college and like the impact it has. Like I thought at one point like I can't forgive someone that hurt me. Like they don't deserve to be forgiven. They don't deserve to be forgiven. What they did was not okay. But what I realized is Forgiveness doesn't have to do with them. What it has to do with you. You need to forgive for yourself. You need to forgive not because they deserve forgiveness. Not because they deserve it. It's because you deserve it. You deserve to be able to move on, to let it go, to forget about it, to just put it to rest, and to move on to greater and better things. Because the person or people who have hurt you in the past don't deserve your energy. They do not deserve your energy. The people who are there for you, who support you, those are the people that deserve your energy. Well, everything I went through, I learned, like, I need to forgive. I can't be mad at them forever because that's affecting me and affecting the present. And I have so much better things to look forward to. That says things will not always go your way or how you expect it to. But that is okay. I'm the type of person that like I can plan out everything. I like to know exactly what's going to happen. And I want it to happen the exact way I see it in my mind. But, you know, what I want is that can't always happen. Things are going to happen in your life that you might not like, that you didn't see coming, that was unexpected, but that is all right. You need to focus on what you can control. It's your job to find the best out of every situation. And no matter if something happens that you can expect, that you can plan for, you are in control of how you react to it. Like I said earlier, you know, you are in control of your reacting. You are in control of how you react to a situation, even it was an unexpected event that happened. You are in control of how you deal with it. The last lesson I'm going to show you, I went through a whole college experience all four years. And that is, you are not going to see at everything you try. Failure is inevitable. It is going to happen. You know, throughout college, throughout life in general, it's going to happen. But that doesn't mean you, you are a failure. Before I become really fail, I would be so mad at myself. I was so hard on myself. Now I take those fail moments and I use it to grow and to learn so I can be better than I was before. Failing is part of life and you know, throughout college there was exams, there was quizzes that I went do well and I would think I was a failure, even though that's not true. Like I, I fail an exam before in college. I also fail advocating for myself as someone with a disability. But I, I use the moments to grow as a person. You can't succeed without some failure in between. Yes, I succeeded in getting my bachelor's degree, but I didn't do that without some failure in between. I had a bunch of moments where I fail, and that is okay because I use those moments to grow, to learn, to become a better person. You will fail throughout life, but that is okay, that is normal. Use those moments to become a better person of yourself. But those were five lessons I learned throughout college. I hope you enjoy hearing them and you can take something from the lessons I say with you in your life. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and 
subscribe to my channel. I post all kinds of videos that I know you will love. Also, turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. Hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you in my next video.